Hey gang, weekly rapid garden view, giving you a look or a glimpse up under the canopy of this hydroponic indoor garden here in New England. <laughs> Let's tell you it's northeast. I did get those lights raised, so it's given that pepper canopy a lot more space to kind of open up and really spread out. Um, I think for those of you that follow me and have seen that I've had some um, deficiencies in the garden, let me see if I can grab a leaf over here. Pretty loose. You can see here's a here's an example of it. Um, it's yellow, yellow, and there's little brown spots. I think you can see on it. So, pretty much a magnesium deficiency is what I'm thinking. And from looking at some of these um, more more rapid growing uh, peppers here, like the starfish pepper, looks like some of these leaves are starting to um, come back, you know, and to really rebound. There's still a little bit of curl on the edge, so it could be they're also getting a little bit of high, higher nutrients. Um, so I'm trying to keep a track of that. It's been cold here in New England, so that it's really kind of hard to regulate always the garden. So during the day, I'd say it's 72 to 74 maybe in here. Um, the lights do generate some heat, so that would make that difference and then um, at night though I have the heat set to 70 uh, but it is an outside wall that this garden is on so you know there is a possibility for a chill to get in here but I think we're doing better uh, as we come around here let's say this is still this one, this is the back of the um, starfish pepper there here you can see the Carolina Reaper and it's getting some nice new flowers on here uh, but the poor Reaper has been more of a casualty to the deficiency for sure. And I think you can see there's some, um, you know, curling of the leaves. They've had a little bit of trouble with leaf drop, but I'm starting to see some little fruit on it. Granted, they're little, but I think over time they'll get better. And here it is. A, you can see that. Let's go into it to make sure I'm getting it. Yep, there. That's one of the reapers that's setting up now. So. I'm, I think as I pull back the other's uh, plants and kind of cut them back a little bit, you'll be able to get more light in and the reapers on the other side along with the Maruga Satans and the Krakens should start to set up more. One thing I did want to show you is that this is the Trinidad Scorpion. I've had this plant, oh man, I bet it's been a couple of years. If you go back and look on my YouTube channel at the very beginning when I had a huge overgrown garden. Um, I did a lot of DWC and I'm pretty sure that's where this plant started a few years ago. I've had two of these. Um, the other one I did put outside this summer and let it go, but um, this plant I have cut back, oh boy, I bet three times and each time it grows back be more beautiful, um, more strong, and I get a lot of really nice fruit on it. So I'm doing the same thing again. As this finishes out, you can see I've cut it back and it's starting to re-veg already. So, um, you know, this is a pretty cool plant, just the way that I've cut it back and it's kind of gnarled and I, I really enjoy it. And you can see over there, I think that's, that's the Kraken. Uh, nope, sorry about that, Maruga Satan. And that stem is the same way. I'm kind of sharing some space over here. So I think that we should get some more of those too. So anyways. I think there you have it for today. Till next time, peace out.